Hello everyone. Today we are going to solve this problem. This is from the chapter pair of linear equations and x is 3.1. Now in this one they have given two linear equations. We have to find whether these two equations are consistent or not. Consistent means the two equations should be intersecting or coincident. And then we have to obtain the solution graphically. Okay, first of all, let's check whether they are consistent or not. Now, the first equation is 2x plus y minus 6 is equal to 0. So, let us consider as a1x plus b1y plus c is equal to 0. Now, by comparing a1 is equal to coefficient of x that is 2, b1 is equal to coefficient of y that is 1 and c is equal to constant minus 6. Okay. Now, second equation. 4x minus 2y minus 4 is equal to 0. The second equation is that. Now, again, a2x plus b2y plus c2 is equal to 0. Now, again, compare a2 is equal to coefficient of x, that is 4. b2 is equal to coefficient of 2, y, that is minus 2. And C2 is equal to constant that is minus 4. Now, the, the equations are consistent only when they are intersecting or coincident. For intersecting the condition is, if intersecting the condition is A1 by A2 is equal to, is not equal to, is not equal to B1 by B2. This is the condition of intersecting the lines. Okay, if another condition is a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2, that is again equal to c1 by c2. This is when coincident. So, for both the conditions, the lines are consistent. Now, check whether they are intersecting or they are coincident. Now, Take this one. Let us let us check a1 by a2 is equal to a1 is 2 and a2 is 4. Okay, so 2 by 4 that is equal to 1 by 2. Now b1 by b2 that is equal to b1 is 1 and b2 is minus 2. So 1 by minus 2. These two are not equal. So, a1 by a2 is not equal to b1 by b2. So, this condition is satisfied. Hence, these two lines are intersecting lines. Okay, intersecting means we all know intersect like, like, like this or anything like this. Anything intersecting, these are intersecting lines. And here, this is this will be the intersecting point, point of intersection and this will be the solution. And we have to find the solution graphically. I hope you all understood this part. Okay. We have proved this is consistent, these two lines are consistent by taking the condition and they are intersecting lines. And we have to find the point of intersection, which is a solution for the these two lines. And we have to find it graphically. I hope you clear up to here. So, first part of the problem is completed. Now, second part of the problem is to find the solution of the two intersecting lines, that is two consistent lines graphically. So, we have to draw the graphs. Okay. Now, first equation is 2x plus y minus 6 equal to 0. We have to write this equation in terms of y. Okay. So, in terms of y, we have to write means we have to keep y here only, then we have to bring this 2x and constant this side. So, plus 2x will get here, minus 2x plus 6. Okay. Now, what happens? If x equal to 0, take the values of x to obtain the value of y. Some random values you can take it. Let us take x as 0, then y is equal to minus 2 into 0 plus 6, that is equal to 6. 
विच इज एक्स कामा वाई इज इक्वल टू जीरो कामा सिक्स ओके गॉड इट ना नाउ अगेन इफ एक्स इक्वल टू टेक एक्स इक्वल टू थ्री देन वाई इज इक्वल टू माइनस टू इंटू थ्री प्लस सिक्स दैट इज इक्वल टू माइनस टू इंटू थ्री इज माइनस सिक्स सो दिस इज माइनस सिक्स सो माइनस सिक्स प्लस सिक्स जीरो सो एक्स कामा वाई इज इक्वल टू थ्री कामा जीरो ओके फर्स्ट इक्वेशन इज क्लियर सेकेंड इक्वेशन फोर एक्स माइनस टू वाई माइनस फोर इज इक्वल टू जीरो नाउ अगेन वी हैव टू राइट दिस इक्वेशन इन टर्म्स ऑफ y so this is minus y minus 2y so take this minus 2y here means you will get plus 2y is equal to if you these two are here only so 4x minus 4 okay understand na this one minus 2y i took there and i have written in reversely so y is equal to 4x minus 4 divided by 2 This is equal to taking two common from this two into two x minus two. That is divided by two. That is two. That is y is equal to two x minus two. This is the equation in terms of y. Then we have to find the values of y by giving the x values randomly. So if x equal to zero again, so y is equal to two x minus two. So two into zero minus two. That is minus two. So x comma y is equal to zero comma minus two. Right? Now again x equal to three. So y is equal to two into three minus two. That is equal to two three is a six. This is six. Six minus two is four. So x comma y is equal to three comma four. Okay. So we have to find the solution by using graphical method. Now let us draw the graph. Okay, this is y-axis and this is x-axis. This is zero. One, two, three, four. Minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four. Now our x-axis. One. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four. Now, for x equal to zero comma six, this is the one coordinate, and this is one coordinate. And here this one, another, this another one. For this line, these two are the coordinates. So x equal to zero comma six, zero x equal to zero, and y is equal to six. Is there? Here is a point. Next, x equal to three and y is equal to zero. X equal to three means here, and y is zero means on this point. Okay. Now you just draw a line. Okay, this is equation one. This equation one, this line representing the equation one. Next, x equal to zero and y is minus two. Zero minus two here. Okay, now x equal to three and y is equal to four. 
x equal to 3 and y is equal to 4. We get somewhere here. Okay. Now you join these two lines to two points. Okay. So this is the point of intersection. This is a point of intersection. And this point is 2 and 2. 2, comma 2. Okay. The solution of this, these two lines where they are intersecting and point of intersection is 2, comma 2. This is the solution. I hope you understood this one. If you draw this graph on a graph paper, you will get exact solution, exact point. That is 2, comma 2 only. If you want to try it, this is a, on this board, we can't draw that graph that much accurately. So, the answer is 2, comma 2 only. Now, I hope you, you people understood very clearly. First of all, what we have done? We have done, we have checked whether these two lines are consistent or not by checking whether they are intersecting or they are coincident. If they are intersecting, we got the intersecting means a1 by a2 is not equal to b1 by b2. So, they are intersecting that was proved in previous previous thing and we have found the <coughs> point of intersection in graphical method. I hope you understood clearly. If not, you please once again rewind the video. We will get the previous page of this one. And if any further doubts are there, then let me know in comment section. I will definitely, definitely make you understand. Okay. I try to understand. So, I make you try to understand. And if, if possible, once again, you draw this lines on the graph paper and you will get the answer 2 by 2, 2 comma 2 only. Okay. So, thank you so much for watching my video. And uh, if any doubts, you can please ask me in comment section. Thank you.